Hey guys, what is going on? Effects, interestingness, whatever you call me, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday, week one, where I basically am going to be covering tutorials that you guys request that I may just think of in my head um, of any really editing program from After Effects to Sony Vegas, 40 Cinema, Bonjou, whatever editing program you use, hopefully I can cover it. Uh, Windows wise, I don't know anything about Macs. Um, anyways, so uh, you guys just saw what we're going to be doing, it's like a rainbow type slow-mo effect, really sweet and really easy to do. Okay, so have your clip, line it up with your song, I'm using the exact same music uh, and video as you guys just saw, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. So first of all you guys are going to spice up your clips, um, add any color correction or whatever you want to make it look more sharper. Uh, everyone does theirs differently, so I'm not really going to talk about mine. Uh, all I add is color correction, studio to computer, and then near the bottom, sharpen, I add a light. And that's all I add really for Modern Warfare 2. I just think it makes your clips look a hundred times better, and it's not much work. It's not even a preset, it's just what they already have. Okay, now get to where your shot's at and click on it and click S on your keyboard for split find where you want the uh, effect, the slow-mo and the color correction end and split it there again and then you can just leave that for now now this is 100% done in Sony Vegas um, which is awesome because I know a lot of you guys don't have After Effects and stuff but you're gonna have to add Twixter to this Twixter is originally a plugin for After Effects there is plugins for Sony Vegas to get it which is what I use I never use Twixter in After Effects anymore I always use it in Sony Vegas just saves in rendering time uh, I'll include a video not my video but it's the video I use to get it um, in the description so you guys can go check that out once you guys have got it just drag it onto your clip and it might be just a bit laggy because I'm recording and editing at the same time so hopefully it's not too laggy alright and as you guys can see it's the exact same as in Adobe After Effects just change your speed percent to 20 um, now that's best for Modern Warfare 2 I, use, I personally think I use different for like COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 3 Black Ops. Um, I'll include all the different speed percents I use in the description just uh, so you guys can make your videos just that much more smoother. And so 20% for Modern Warfare 2 and then just drag your clip because originally the size right here where this line is but that was at 100% speed now it's only at 20% so you need to make your video 80% longer than it originally was. Now you stretch it out and you need to basically match these two frame by frame so you want to just click here front frame is right here and then you'd go like right like I said it's being laggy so I'm just trying to do this fast for you guys and then say you, once you found that out click like here here and just going along until you find the frames that match and then you just connect the two and now you're gonna need another audio track and three more video tracks and you want to mute this audio and this audio now the reason I muted this audio is because Twixter does audio so you're gonna have really fast going or really slow going gameplay with normal audio so it's gonna kinda look weird and I am muting this one because it would be weird if like you hear just normal stuff and then it moves out and then it like goes back so instead I'm just gonna keep this one so you can hear the gunshot in the game winning kill cam alright and now take all the clips that you don't want the rainbow effect to go on and put them on your top video layer and that's all you gotta do with that and then go media generations or whatever second category and linear black to white drag that onto one of the video tracks and <clears throat> there's two knobs one and two go to one make it whatever color you want I'm gonna do a green go to two make it whatever color you want. I made it a pink exit out 
stretch it out to the same size as it already is or as your video is and add it again do not copy and paste it if you copy and paste it it'll do whatever you do to one it'll do to the other basically and it'll just be like one layer this you just want to like flip it around so like 360 it's already like that <laughs> you want to like flip it around and then I like to make the bottom like a light yellow not so much mustard but like yellow and then make my one a dark blue and so then you basically already have the effects really as simple as that all you want to do is click the green button right here and click overlay do that for both of the layers that have the color on that. and what that does overlays color onto any track that's underneath it that's the reason you had to rise these two clips last little touch-ups you guys could do fade offs and ons um, these are pretty just sick little things and you know cut down your music fade and fade all right there you guys go uh, pretty sweet simple effect to do in so I guess hope that helped next tutorial will be on Tuesday hope you guys check that out don't forget to comment rate and subscribe um, all the credit for the music and the clip is also in the description thank you guys for watching next Tuesday hope I'll see you guys there later guys